Okay, I do Led Zeppelin part one here. You know, Led Zeppelin <coughs> in the U.S. alone sold over 112 million records. Incredible. Uh, before I had like, I had three Led Zeppelin records. Uh, Led Zeppelin 4, Led Zeppelin 3, and Houses of the Holy when I was very young, when I was a kid. I did not have the covers for them, but I got the records itself for free. This is the original Atlantic. This is the original record. Okay, the red Atlantic label is the original. If you're a real hardcore record collector, you seek for the original labels. Getting hard to find nowadays. So this was Led Zeppelin 3. I wrote that when I was a kid. I was a little holy. You know. This is when they changed. This is the original. But, you know, it changed. After the 60s, the, the Atlantic record label changed. Look what I wrote, Led Zeppelin rules. Yep. Wow, eh? These were my first Led Zeppelin records. Led Zeppelin 4. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess my all time favorite Led Zeppelin album is the first one. Babe, I'm going to leave you. I remember playing playing the album when I first time moved out on my own in 1982 that was it was a very hot summer baby I'm gonna leave you I love that tune dazed and confused how many more times let's up on one they were formed in in London in 1968 They have eight studio albums, four live, ten compilations, 19 singles, 16 vids, and nine downloads. So I'll show you. Once again, this is original. 1969. That's how the album looks like. That's the original label. I'm not going to play any Led Zeppelin music here. Um, I don't know if I would get uh, a warning or whatever. So You guys all know these anyways. Led Zeppelin 2. Gatefold, right? It's all original. Original record label. That's up in three. Hard to find. Gatefold. Original label, Red Atlantic label. And it's got your little uh, thing you can turn here. If 
if you can see that. Do, 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 do. Like a little carousel or something. Well, that turns. Oh, who's that guy? Huh? Look at those faces. Great records. Led Zeppelin four. Original label. See the logos? That represents their names. If I remember correctly, Zozo is Page, that's Robert Plant, that's John Bottom, that's John Paul Jones, if I remember correctly. We got Houses of the Holy. Original label. This is the inner sleeve of that, or liner notes, should I say? And I have another one. Can't get enough of them. Back in 1982, I bought this album at a used record shop. Physical Graffiti. Okay, I got another one. I used to have three of these, but uh, I sold one of them. Blood wasn't so such too great of a shape as uh, these two, so I sold it. Uh, that's how it looks like on the inside. That. That. Swan Song is kind of their own record label. Supposed to be Lucifer falling, the fallen angel. It's got that famous song, Cashmere. Yeah, some of the songs that I heard on the radio, man, uh, they were so magical. You know, the radio played Stereo to Heaven so many damn times that they got told not to play it that often or hardly at all anymore because they just overplayed it. I'll show you Let's up the poster. Ever seen a Bob Ross energy drink? Isn't that cool? I watched them a few times when I was a kid, back in the 70s. Um, this is part one. I'm going to go to part two um, either today or tomorrow. So, listen to a whole lot of love on headphones. 
hear how it traveled woo, 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 from one ear to the other. Woo, woo, woo. That guitar solo. Listen to that on headphones. It's pretty trippy, that. Trippy. We did that back in the day. Listen on headphones and everything. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, uh, like and subscribe. And... And I'll guess... Uh, let's do Led Zeppelin. The song remains the same live. Comes with a poster. Uh, look at this. You guys could see that or not. I'll do this really quickly. Uh, look at that. Hope you can all see that. Black in the sleeve. Two record set. Presents. Now that song, Achilles Last Stand. <clears throat> what an awesome song. Again, you know. On the record label. Coda. Came out in 1982, I believe. Um, I bought this record. I still remember I bought this record exactly one week. This was released out in the record stores in Canada on a Wednesday of 1982. And I bought it exactly the next Wednesday when I had the money. I went out and friggin' bought this album. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. I will provide links down below as usual. And I'll do part two. And I'll do some music uh, from my bootlegs. Because they can't copyright bootlegs music. I don't want to get no copyright strikes or anything like that. Shouldn't. There you go. I'll show you some gems. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah. Uh, just too many records to show you. So I'm going to do part two. I'm going to show you some uh, Robert Plant stuff and some Jimmy Page stuff and all that. So thanks for watching in Metal We Trust.